Thanks very much, Carl. Uh, Fed Governor Lael Brainerd will say the Fed will begin to reduce the balance sheet at a rapid pace as soon as the May meeting, sort of echoing, maybe going a little further than Fed Chair Jay Powell has gone in the past. She says the committee will continue tightening policy, quote, methodically, and that is through a series of interest rate hikes, she suggests. Um, of paramount importance, she says, is to get inflation down on the balance sheet. She says you expect this shrink to shrink the balance sheet more rapidly than the Fed did in a previous balance sheet reduction period. And that includes large monthly caps on runoff, on the runoff. That is, the Fed will set a level for how much it will allow to runoff. She's saying those levels will be large. They'll phase them in, but they'll get to them very quickly. All of this combined, the rate hikes and the balance sheet runoff will make policy, quote, more neutral, she says, this year. That sounds like she wants to get around 2%, maybe a little bit higher on the funds rate. Uh, and the Fed will have an opportunity to hike rates at every meeting this year. The committee is prepared to take stronger action if warranted, that is, if inflation does not come under control. She says she's watching the yield curve for signs of increased downside risks and that the Russian invasion, along with the COVID lockdowns in China, create upside risks for additional inflation. At the same time, they create downside risks to growth. Finally, she says the U.S. economy has considerable momentum, so she seems to suggest it will not be all that painful, all this tightening she's planning. But very definitively, you know, Carl, she is the, um, I guess, still the nominee uh, to be vice chair of the board. So she's becoming more important in what she says clearly out there, uh, telegraphing what we'll probably hear in the minutes tomorrow. And then again, the actions that will be taken at the uh, May meeting, which seem to definitively now suggest the Fed will begin reducing the balance sheet next month. Good morning, 8.42 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America. I'm XRP, future millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So as we can see, some of the coins are having this dead bounce. I mean, the, to me, this is, I'm not in a position. I'm letting this play out. I seen last night, and I telegraphed this to everybody before I went to bed. The total crypto market cap, the 20 crossed the 50. So this, to me, is going to be a dead cap bounce. And the total crypto market cap is likely going to end up way down here around 1.7 trillion. And that's a pretty substantial drop if this plays out. This will play out as kind of like a, that's a 15% drop. There's still a chance to come up a few percent. To me, this is acting as a right shoulder. But when you understand the technicals, <clears throat> you've got a bearish divergence that has already crossed the 20, crossed the 50. It's about to cross the 100. Then it's going to have to come down to the 200. This is not done. The market's having a dead cat bounce right now. And when I mean dead cat, I mean dead cat. I see a lot of talk in the Telegram while I've said everything I need to say in the updates and the live stream. So I, I'd get more than willing to go into the Telegram and have a nice discussion. But I'm not going to go in there just to reiterate what I've already said. So make sure you're watching these updates because they're dead on the money. So with XRP, we're coming back up. We created a bearish divergence. I don't necessarily think this pattern's done because Bitcoin's not done. So I think the best we could have hoped for was that 804 touch. I don't even know if we can get up there. The volume has been atrocious. Let's go into the shorter time frames. Look at that volume. That is puny. Volume? Where the hell is the volume for XRP? I mean, if anybody thinks that this is a significant bounce, I mean, that volume should tell you otherwise. That is atrocious. The only reason why it's even going up is because nobody sold it right here. It's another trap. This might be able to get to 804. If you're lucky, maybe 81 cents. I don't know. I don't even think it's going to get that high. I think we're going to roll over quicker than most think today. You got Bitcoin on the four hourly that is still just crossed the 100. It's got a, its biggest drop is going to happen when it goes down to cross the 200. So I predicted that it could come up to maybe 44,688 or get rejected by the top of this blue line 44,000 because that's the symmetrical triangle that it fell back into so i'd expect a nice quick j hook down and a lot of people are going to get hammered i think a lot of people are going to get absolutely sh you're going to get hammered because right now you got to look at the technicals we're still on a bearish divergence we have a 
divergence that hasn't even finished itself yet. And a lot of people are buying back in expecting this to be the big bounce. This is not the big bounce. This is the dead cat bounce. Make sure you hit that like button. Turn that bell notification on and subscribe to the channel if you're new or returning. If you need a little bit of extra help, if you want to join a community that understands, $9.99 a month, join Tom's Army. I give you the exclusive telegram for free. You also have the ability to join my classes on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I share the link on my telegram every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And that's going to be explosive. And tonight is Thursday. Or wait a minute. No, yesterday was Tuesday. What the hell is today? Yeah. Today's Wednesday, Thursday. No, today's Thursday. So we have a class today. Sorry. It's early. Julie's going to be on her way to her doctor's appointment. So hopefully that won't be too bad. So join the Telegram by joining Tom's Army, $9.99 a month. Get the most exclusive and elusive subscription-based service on YouTube. With this Telegram, the classes, you can't lose.